This is George from High Tech Legion. Naturally, we've said it time and time again, just how important having a rock-solid power supply is to your system. After all, the power supply is the heart of your system. It's delivering power to each and every one of your components. Now, in addition to rock-solid power, there are going to be some features you're going to want. Um, obviously, you know, you're going to want good power efficiency. You're going to want an 80-plus uh, certified power supply. You know, you might want modular cables, definitely preferable so you're not running an excessive amount of cables. You also want to have uh, the right amount of cables and connections. So if you're running SLI or Crossfire, you've got the right amount of PCI Express cables. If you're doing extreme overclocking, you're probably going to want a second CPU power cable. Now, with the Be Quiet Power Zone 750 watt, uh, Be Quiet is really striving to take uh, top tier features and put them into a power supply that's going to be a little bit more affordable. So you're still going to see a lot of, you know, the top tier features we're seeing on the dark power um, pros, as well as, you know, bring the price down a little bit and delivering rock solid power, good set of features at a reasonable price. Getting the first look at the Power Zone 750. Uh, it is our first look at the Power Zone 750, but not our first look at the line. We've uh, recently reviewed the Power Zone 850, and really fantastic power supply, and the 750 is going to follow suit. Uh, very, very similar power supplies. Now, I might want to note uh, the Power Zone 750 shares the same platform with the Dark Power Pro 10, uh, has a lot of the same features, uh, just a little bit different. Um, what we're seeing here, the Power Zone 750 is an 80 plus bronze certified power supply rather than the 80 plus gold of the Dark Power Pro 10. Uh, so you've got a little give there. Also, uh, does not use solid Japanese capacitors, but does use solid capacitors rated to 105 degrees centigrade. So while you're not getting the Japanese word, you are getting the quality there. So now let's take a look at the box just really quickly. You've got the Be Quiet Power Zone uh, logo right up front, single 12 volt rail. Uh, which maximizes stability and available power. Cool off function, uh, which keeps your PC cold even after the uh, PC is powered off. What that actually does, the cool off function keeps the fans on for three minutes after uh, the PC is powered off. So you're, it's gonna get some of the hot air out of your case. Silent wings fan for uh, quiet performance and full cable management system for maximum flexibility. The Power Zone 750 is fully modular, not semi-modular. Uh, as we've seen in the past. So you've got a fully modular power supply here. Taking a quick look at the back, really, once again, reiterates silent wings, cool off uh, function, full cable management. But we want to take a look at here, 744 watts, 62 amps across the 12 volt rail, 150 watts combined on the 3.3 and 5 volt rail, 750 watts total. It does use DC to DC step down for the 3.3 and 5 volt rail. So you do get better efficiency and better regulation than you do um, with any other type of step-down conversion. So definitely some really good looking specs here. Now taking a look at the Power Zone 750 itself, very good looking unit as you can see. One of the things about Be Quiet that we've seen in the past uh, and holds true here, they make very, very nice looking equipment. It's very, very well built, very nicely designed, minimalist um, type design to it. And it's put together absolutely perfectly uh, all the time. Now the Power Zone 750, like I say, Built off the same uh, FSP platform as the Dark Power Pro 10 750. And as you get a look around, as you can see, it's a really nice looking unit with the kind of rugged uh, look on the sides with the Power Zone logo. In the back, as you can see, you've got really a lot of open air here to work with for the fan to work with, um, getting some air through there, keeping the components cool. 135 millimeter silent wings fan on the bottom, as you can see, very quiet fan. Um, and of course, it is thermally um, controlled, so it spins very slowly. When the power supply is running cool, as the power supply needs it, it will spin up. Uh, now, that's also going to go for three fan connectors. They're actually right here on the back of the um, Power Zone 750 itself. It can actually control three case fans, and they'll work in tandem with the uh, Silent Wings fan as far as the way they're controlled. So. You've got a fan controller and fan outputs built in as well. Now, nice thing being also they work with the cool off function, so no problem there. And as you can see, fully modular, your drives, two, eight pin, CPU, uh, motherboard cables, 
and your motherboard cable, as well as three PCI Express slots, each of which has two uh, 6 plus 2 pins. So you've got a total of eight connectors there, so good for up to three SLI or Crossfire uh, video cards, as the case may be. So a really good looking unit. Um, internally, like we say, single 12 volt rail with active clamp, great power, uh, power correction factor. So very, very solid, very, very regulated power supply. Six-way uh, protection, of course, over voltage, under voltage, uh, et cetera, um, over current, under current. So you are well protected as well. All in all, just really a nicely made, nicely designed power supply from Be Quiet. Moving to the package accessories, the power zone does come with nice carry bag, which actually fits the power supply itself, or of course can be used as cable bag, as you see fit. All of your cables are modular, as I say. First off, you've got the power cable. Uh, not marked, but does appear to be an 18 gauge. It's not a real heavy power cable. You do have zip ties and your screws. And moving on to the cables themselves. As you can see, let's start over here. You've actually got your motherboard cable and fan cables are actually uh, separate. As I say, um, you do have the fan controller built into the unit. It does have a dedicated plug. It is not a standard fan plug, so you do have to use the fan cables uh, if you're going to be connecting fans. Motherboard cable, obviously nice, meaty, 20 plus, uh, or I should say um, two-part. It's an 18 plus four on the power supply end and a 20 plus four on, or I should say 18 plus six and 20 plus four on the motherboard side. Uh, as you can see, sleeved, not to the ends, with a black and orange stripe. Uh, not the solid black that we're used to seeing from Be Quiet. And of course, the rest of your cables follow suit. Uh, oddly, the VGAs, the 6 plus 2s, are all blue rather than being black. So, good looking um, cable setup. Obviously, not quite the same as what we were used to seeing from. Dark Power Pro, but it's fully modular cable setup, so it's going to be very easy to route. One of the nice things about the, uh, the Be Quiet cables, and one of the things that really sets them apart, is they do give you a nice assortment of cables. So you do have some mixed cables with SATA and uh, four pin Molex, as well as floppy on single cables, so you can run less cables. So there is some thought behind uh, the cables themselves. So good setup and pretty good looking cables. Would have liked to have seen them sleeve to the ends or uh, at least black, a little bit more black. Um, but all in all, good looking cable selection. Looking at the performance on the Power Zone 750, you know, we see some really nice solid regulation and power delivery across all the rails. Uh, there's really no uh, large dips. Uh, we're not seeing a big drop on any of the rails, just nice solid power delivery all the way through. Um, and it went through the 30 minutes of our test, you know, through the heat and whatnot. Now also during this time, the Power Zone 750 never really got loud. Uh, definitely not particularly audible in any way, shape, or form. Um, and the fan really never spun up. So, you know, it's got some good passive cooling going on as well as the uh, Silent Wings fan, which is keeping things quiet. So all in all, you know, a very, very solid showing from the Power Zone 750. With the Power Zone 750, Be Quiet was really looking to make, uh, like I say, uh, power supply with rock solid power delivery, um, with some top tier features, but at a price that's not going to break the bank. And that's exactly what they've done. You know, they built off of the 750 watt Dark Power Pro 10 platform, um, made a couple of trade offs. Uh, like I say, the Japanese capacitors, it's single rail only, it's not selectable for multi rail. But I mean, other than that, it's pretty much the same platform. Efficiency is down a little to bronze, but I mean, you know, you're talking a couple of percent difference in efficiency as a result. So really, you've got, you know, great performance. Went all modular, which is really nice to see, especially in this price range. Cables themselves, um, you know, nicely laid out, but like I say, not the greatest looking cables you're ever going to see. But uh, on the inside of the case, you know, if you're routing nicely, you're not really going to see them anyway. I would have liked to have seen, obviously, the sleeving go to the ends a little bit more. But like I say, we're looking at a power supply that, you know, isn't going to break the bank. You're not looking at a really high price power supply. And, you know, that's definitely a trade-off you can live with for the type of power delivery you're getting. Now, the Be Quiet Power Zone 750 is going to get a High Tech Legion Gold Award. Um, reason for that being, like I say, solid power delivery, very nice cable setup, 
But, you know, there are a couple corners cut. It's not the best power supply, you know, we've seen out there, but it might be the best power, um, modular power supply we've seen at this price point. It's very unusual to find a fully modular power supply at this price point, especially one with this kind of power delivery. So all in all, it's going to be a High Tech Legion Gold Award for the Power Zone 750.